Sack life, beat depression, it's day 769, and I'm feeling fine, and today we're going to keep it that way with another somatic healing session to wipe out depression. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here now. Anyone who's tuning in later, appreciate you guys and girls out there. As you know, every single day we start this martial arts for mental health show with that powerful tool of gratitude, and the more we use it, the more powerful it can become in our lives, the easier it will be to find those silver linings and those positive things to focus in on. And today I want to shout out gratitude to the first ones in. Braces can be scary, Claire. Thank you for being there. And Soul Traveler, it's good to see you. Hope you're doing well out there. Thank you so much for tuning in and supporting the cause. Also, to Master Checo, to Billy the Savage, and to Lisa the Luminary out there. Uh, you're all part of the Zach fam. Regulars out there staying consistent, putting in that work, putting in that progress, and... I appreciate you. So you're all part of my gratitude section today. And braces can be scary said. Hi from me and Luca. Happy thanks, Devin. And happy thanks, Devin, right back at you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate you. Uh, shout out of gratitude to Vaughn Harrison Burns as well for joining and for that support. So that is a lot of gratitude, but I've got a little bit more. I want to shout out some gratitude to Curiosity by Intrinsic out here in Kearney, New Jersey, because tomorrow morning... We're going to be doing a free martial arts for mental health class out here in Kearney, New Jersey. So if you're in the New Jersey area, in the Kearney, North Arlington, Harrison district, stop on by 9.30 a.m. And we're going to be sharing all kinds of breathwork tools, visualization tools, meditation tools, along with slow-moving, low-intensity stress relief session. So I want to shout out gratitude to Curiosity by Intrinsic and the people out there for helping us and supporting our cause as well. Also want to shout out gratitude to the Carney Insider and a safe place inside your head for helping spread that word, for helping spread that, that message out there and letting people know that there are free options available. And that's going to be the end of my gratitude section for today. Go ahead and think about your gratitude section for today, something you're grateful for, and that'll help put you in that positive mindset as we move into today's lesson. Second tool we're going to talk about is progress tracking tool as always super important it's day 769 and i'm feeling fine why because i've been keeping track of my progress keeping track of my success and that number helps fortify me helps be create more mental resiliency within my mindset because every day that i move forward i get more proof of my perseverance of my resiliency against anything that's trying to stop me out here and that number can do the same thing for you but it's important to keep track of it and write it down somewhere put it somewhere where you can look at it especially on bad days when your mind will feed you those negative thoughts which are temporary those negative thoughts those negative lies that depression can create like you can't get out of bed today or you don't deserve or it's not worth it or you can't do it this number lets you know you can what you can do, what you have done, what you can look forward to doing in the future. So just continue keeping on one step at a time. Every single step matters. Keep track of them so you can know that you can look forward to that future. And you can look forward to today, right now, when we kick the crap at depression together with another somatic healing session. So if you've got a number out there, please do share it with others. It can help inspire them to make changes as well and improve their lives. Shout out to ShawneeBoy98, thank you for joining, appreciate you. And those are two main mental health tools we cover every show. Now we're gonna get into the lesson. And remember, in order to keep these striking lessons focused on mental health as well, it's important to visualize that target and acknowledge what it is you're fighting. So if it's depression or anxiety, make it the anxiety dummy, make it the depression dummy that you're striking, and visualize doing damage to that dummy because every day we train, we get stronger, as depression gets weaker. So by acknowledging this, we can reinforce that truth in our minds about what we're doing every day that we beat depression. Also, please do make sure that you've got water. Now, keeping in line with the last couple of days, we've been practicing this routine that starts with a double jab and links into a hook. We're gonna keep that combo going because practice is the key to developing effective striking and proper striking techniques. So we're gonna keep that double jab and hook going as an entrance to that end, the end of that combo, to set up basically the end of that combo and make it a surprise. And the more we drill that double jab and cross, the more fluid we'll become, the smoother we are, the faster we'll become, and the faster we are, the more powerful we can, the more power we can generate in that technique. So today we're gonna talk about that double jab cross, uh, double jab hook, and setting up kicks with it. We're gonna to toss a low kick, we're gonna to toss a round, a medium roundhouse kick, so jab, jab, hook, 
roundhouse, boom. And we're gonna talk about the little things, those little details that help keep you balanced and centered in this technique when you're executing those combos and the little differences there on how to toss that hook a little bit differently than we standardly do. So for a standard hook, usually you wanna put a little pre-wind in it, toss through, we're keeping it nice and tight at 90 degrees, we're driving through the hips and shoulders, and it's kind of a close range hook. It's a good, powerful, close range hook. But we can also toss that hook to set up other shots in a way that's less powerful, but it's a good setup. It gives us a good entrance in to that next strike. So normally we would pivot on that front foot, on the ball of that foot, tossing that hook around. But to set up a kick in this fashion, what we can do is instead of pivoting through right here on our solid base, we can step out, just like we would step out to toss that roundhouse kick alone. We can step out after the double jab, small step out, toss that hook wide, right, reaching out wide, boom, light. We're just tossing it. We don't need to do a lot of damage with it. We just want to get their guard up and out of the way. And by taking that step out, when we toss that wide hook, we can stay balanced and ready to toss the roundhouse right through there, right through the center, that center mass, chopping them in half. And I've got my depression dummy, Bob, Beat Depression Bob is here with me today. So I'll show you how we can do that, how it will be effective on a dummy or on a bag. And if you could get yourself to a bag, get in that somatic healing session for yourself, give yourself a bonus round, the more the better, as long as you're not pushing yourself too hard. So that's gonna be it. We're gonna talk about the low roundhouse kick Right, tossing through the legs. We're gonna talk about the mid roundhouse kick. Bang, right through that center mass. And then we might toss a couple crosses in there and a little couple alternate hooks as well, just to vary it up. And we'll have our fundamentals going as well too in these next three rounds. So standard rounds today, three rounds, three minutes each, one minute breaks in between to catch your breath and drink some water. And again, I'll be showing you on Bob as we go through how we can take that little step out and kind of set up preparing ourselves to toss that roundhouse kick right as we throw the hook. So the hook's really just gonna be a distraction, boom, but it's gonna set us up. And also taking that little step and varying up that routine is gonna help improve your balance all around. It's gonna help improve body control all around. And the more body awareness and balance we have, the more effective we can be at executing all of our techniques. Shout out to Mon Mantra, UT Doshi out there. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate you. We covered our gratitude tool. Think about what you're grateful for. We covered our progress tracking tool. Keep track of your strength and perseverance. Keep track of the progress you're making out there because it makes a difference. And now let's get into the lesson. As I said, it's going to be a little bit technical. So you go at your intensity. You can toss those shots with the intensity that works for you to give you a challenge. You can take it nice and slow. We're not here to compete with each other. We're here to compete with ourselves. And that's how we'll see that continued growth. Let's get it going. We'll get some tunes in here. 80s fighting spirit style. Boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. One more. There it is. Metal beat today. That should be good. All right, let's get it going. Go ahead and square up into your balanced Muay Thai stance. Remember, those guides are available on sacklifeofficial.com. Make sure you got water. Breathing in the nose, out the mouth with each strike. And we're going to get this thing started. Square up into your balanced stance. Visualize that opponent. Get that guard high by the brow line, closing the fingers, tucking the thumbs. Tuck that chin, roll those shoulders. We're going to start by tossing the jabs. Now normally we step in for that jab to add power to it, but today I want you guys to throw a measuring jab. So we're just going to toss it a little bit from the shoulder. We're not going to step in. We don't want a powerful jab here. We just want a measuring tool. We want to measure that distance and set up those shots, right? It's all about setting up that kick with the punches. So toss some jabs. Boom, 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 boom. Toss some jabs just from the shoulder. A little bit of wind in there, keeping the guard high. You can exhale on that little bit of rotation through the hips and shoulders. Boom, 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 boom. Remember to visualize that target. Visualize making contact with that depression dummy with the knuckles. Turn that fist over, bop, and let it land right on contact, right on the nose. If you got a bob at home, right in the nose. Just keep that guard high, keep it tight. 
keep tossing that measuring jab. Boom, boom, boom. You can move around a little bit with it, and we're gonna start moving in to the hook. So two measuring jabs, one, two, and then toss the hook. For the hook, normally, and what we're gonna start with is that regular rotating hook, turning on the ball of the front foot. So double jab, rotating hook, boom. Double jab, rotating hook, there it is, keeping the guard high. Double jab, turn that body. Remember, turn the shoulders. Power comes through the body, not from just throwing the arm, right? That'll be a weak hook. Want a little power in that hook, so turn through the body. Double jab, hook, let's go. Double jab, hook, boom. Now with this jab, we're not stepping in, we're not turning all the way through, we're just tossing it kind of from the shoulder there, nice and light. Keep the chin tucked, shoulders roll, guard high. Let's go, double jab, hook, boom. Double jab, hook, boom. Double jab, hook, boom, and back to stance. Now, we're gonna start to modify that hook. Instead of turning through the hip and having all that follow through for power, we're gonna take a small step out off that center line, just like we do for a roundhouse kick. And we're gonna toss that hook wide. We're gonna extend that arm wide instead of locking in at 90, extend it wide and just tap the side of the head of that depression dummy. Double jab, right, measuring jab, step off the line, toss it wide, boom. I'm keeping my chin tucked for balance, nice and centered, nice and square. Remember, it's balanced Muay Thai stance. We want to keep everything nice and even. Double jab, pop, pop. Step off the line and toss that wide hook there. Boom. Chin tucked, guard high on the opposite side. Back to stance. Let's work on it together. Square up, double jab, pop, pop. Step off the line, boom. Wide, wide cross, a wide hook there. Back to stance, guard high. Double measuring jab, pop, pop. Off the line, boom. Wide hook there. That's the end of round one. Catch your breath, drink some water. And in round two, we'll continue building this combo and working those kicks in there as well. If you're not familiar with the roundhouse kick or the low kick, I'll give you a breakdown on that as we get into the next round. And we're gonna start adding that in to our training here. And remember, you don't need a bob dummy to show up for yourself and make progress every day. You don't need a heavy bag, you just need some room in front of you, some room to train. But if you have a bob or a heavy bag, that's gonna give you a better physical release and you can experience that same effect, that same feeling, that weight coming off, that stress coming out of the nervous system when you have that feedback coming back to you from bob or from that bag. So I highly encourage you to get a chance to get out there, get to a heavy bag, buy a heavy bag, or train at a gym. Plenty of gyms offer free days, free uh, membership or trial days, so check out what's in your area and uh, keep exploring your options. All right, getting back into it. It's time for round two. So we're gonna go back to that foundation, right? Muay Thai, balance stance, tuck the chin, roll the shoulders, curl the hips, bend the knees nice and balanced. Double jab, pop, pop. And now we're stepping off that line with the lead foot. And we're gonna turn for a wide hook here, big wide hook, and maybe a small step back just to open up some room in those hips for the roundhouse kick. From here, after we make contact with that hook, we wanna reach forwards and we're gonna toss that hip over. Boom, toss that hip over and send that roundhouse kick right through your opponent. We'll start with that low roundhouse kick. So let's practice one more time. Double jab, step off the line, toss that wide hook and then boom, low roundhouse kick all the way through. To break down that low roundhouse kick, for those of you who are not familiar, square up with that visualized target, guard high, everything's nice and tight here. We're gonna take a step off the center line here, opening up that hip, and we're gonna toss this hip over as we reach across and chop the arm, boom. Rotating on the ball of the foot. In order to rotate on the ball of that foot, you've gotta have your heel slightly raised, and you gotta curl that big toe back just a little bit so that the weight goes on the ball of the foot and you can pivot effectively. So let's do it again. Low roundhouse kick, step off that center line with the ball of the foot anchored. We're gonna reach across and chop the arm as we toss the hip over. There it is, keeping the guard high on the opposite hand, rotating all the way around. If you don't have the room to rotate all the way around, go flat foot, nice and easy. Simulate that movement and toss that kick nice and slow, nice and low, and step back. It's a way you can modify for your surroundings, for your environment. All right, back to our combo. Double tap the jab, toss that wide hook as you step out. 
stepping off the line to set up that low kick. Hook connects, and we're going to rotate through the hip. Boom! Toss that low kick around all the way back to center, rotating on that foot. Let's put it together. Double jab, wide hook with the step, toss through. Boom, for that low kick and back to stance. Guard high, chin tucked. Keep it nice and tight. Visualize that target. Double jab, pop, pop. Step off the line, hook. And now we're going to toss through the hip, right? Toss that hip over. Whoosh, bang. Right through those legs of that target. Back to stance. Double jab, pop, pop. Step off the line for the hook and toss through the hip. Whoosh. Boom, there it is. Carrying through. Remember, we want to make contact with the shin. The shin is what our striking surface is, not with the foot. And we're going to drive it right through the legs, right through that calf meat on our opponent. And we're visualizing that depression dummy. Double jab, pop, pop, step off the line for the hook. And boom, send that low kick through those legs. Nice, that is the end of round two. I'm going to show you guys a little bit on the depression dummy as we get into round three. And we'll work the high, that mid roundhouse kick, right? Going for center mass. Aiming for the ribs, aiming for the gut, uh, anywhere over here. You can also aim for the quads or the hamstrings. Go for that leg meat. Something cushiony that's going to feel nice to sink that bone into for you, but very bad for your opponent. <laughs> that's the goal with the roundhouse kick. We want to chop that roundhouse kick right through. So for the mid-range roundhouse kick, it's the same principle. It's the same setup. We're stepping off the line. We're opening up that hip. But instead of tossing low through the leg, we're going to toss it high, send it up, and make sure that that hip rotates over. So you can practice. This is not the lesson yet. You can practice rotating that hip right here from a standing position. Let that hip roll over and chop the arm. Practice chopping the arm at the same time. Now all we're going to do is step off that line, reach across the face, and we're going to chop the arm this way all the way across this way as we throw the foot in the opposite direction. What we want to do here is create kind of like a scissor motion. So we can throw that leg right through that center mass, chop through that opponent, and keep the arm as a counterweight. Whoosh, boom, counterweight through there. Guard high on the opposite side, guard up, let's do it. Let's put the combo together. Step for the jab, jab, step off the line, setting up the kick. We're gonna to toss that wide hook here. And right here, we're going to reach across with the opposite hand, get ready to roll that hip, and toss that hip over, bring yourself all the way back around. If you got the depression dummy, you've got a Bob dummy at home, plant those punches where you want them to be in real life. Aim for the nose, aim for the chin, aim for the temple, the eye socket. But land on those large two knuckles. Let's work with the double jab, right? Double jab, one, two. Now we're going to step off the line, wide hook to the temple. And we're going to toss that roundhouse kick right through center mass. So reach forwards and toss that roundhouse kick through center mass. We want to land with that leg still bent as if we're going to chop right through that center mass of our opponent. So reach across the face, toss that leg up, rotate on the ball of that front foot. Back to stance, square up with that opponent. Double jab, get yourself to that distance where you can measure. Double jab, pop, pop. Step off the line to set up the kick and toss that large, wide hook. Keeping yourself nice and balanced. This is a good one to keep yourself from leaning in. It's gonna teach you where those things are, that, those points of improvement. Step off the line for the round, that wide, round hook, and then reach across. Toss, toss through that hip into center mass. All right, back to shadow boxing position. Tuck the chin, Muay Thai stance. Double pump the jab, pop, pop. Off the line for the hook and then toss through the hip. Whoosh, for that roundhouse kick all the way around. Let's go, double jab, pop, pop. No step in, right? Step off the line, hook wide, and now toss that kick. Whoosh, through center mass, guard high. Let's put them together. Double jab, off the line for the hook. Toss through, bang for center mass. Back to stance, keep it balanced, keep it wide. Keep the weight on the ball of the foot. Double jab, hook, stepping off the line. And boom, toss that foot through center mass. Back to stance, double jab, hook wide. Toss that leg through. Guard high, chin tuck the whole time. Keep it going. Knees bent, weight on the balls of the feet. Double jab, hook, toss that roundhouse kick. 
Back to stance, one more time, double jab, hook with the step, toss that roundhouse kick, and that's the end of round three. I hope that you guys found tools you can improve, and room to grow. One of the best things about martial arts is there's unlimited room to grow. All you gotta do is keep learning, keep going. Take a step at a time. Doesn't have to be a big step. If you stuck with us for one minute today, that still counts, so log it in. Log it in as another day accomplished, another step forwards. And the more you keep track of that number, the more powerful it can be, building up both self-confidence, self-esteem, and self-validation, which is something that not even depression can take away from us. Shout out to Left Josh, appreciate you, appreciate your support. And if you didn't get enough of a high intensity challenge today, because we were pretty technical, uh, please do give yourself a bonus round. Give yourself some quality time with Bob, perfect those techniques and make yourself more efficient out there. That way you can be prepared if, if a situation does arise. You'll be prepared, you have that muscle memory ready. And when the more you practice, the more fluid it will become and the more fun you can have when you're training mixing techniques and mixing styles. Until next time, I will catch you guys same sack time, same sack channel, same sack life. Sack man out.